Hello everybody, welcome to Sean Academy. My name is Sean Randall and in this video we're going to learn how to write a clothing line business plan. So the first thing we're going to do is actually we're going to exit out of this presentation and we're going to be using Grammarly.com. Grammarly.com is really good as far as um, when you write your business plan, it helps you uh, correct any spelling um, mistakes that you may have written down. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to create, we're going to make a, a title here. It's going to, we're going to call it um, a clothing line business plan. Alrighty, so we're just going to um, put this one as a header. All right, now the next thing we're going to put in, in our business plan is we're going to put our executive summary. So I'll just put 1.0 executive summary. And this one, we're going to make it um, heading two keep everything organized here and under executive summary, we're going to put um 1.1 run label opportunity. And that could just actually stay like that. We're just going to bold it up here. Bold. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to, oh wait, actually, um, let me put problem. Right, there we go, now it's good. That's fine. All right, so now, first thing when it comes to writing uh, an executive summary is that um, you wanna essentially describe you know, your business, what's the goal of your business and how you plan to achieve those um, financial goals. So we're just gonna make something up on the spot. Um, we're just gonna think of a name that we're gonna create for our clothing line business. So I'm thinking of a, a great name that we can just make up right now is we're, we're going to call our um, clothing line company Adventure Appeal. So for example, you would want to put like Adventure. Well, let me take this off a of bullet actually. So we're going to say something of, of the lines of Adventure Appear Apparel aims to leverage its role as a well established retail it's about retail retails mail clothing company to become a manufacturer of an upscale clothing line aimed at males between <clears throat> males aged 18 to 40. So our first sentence here, we, we have a clothing line that we're just making up on the spot called Adventure Appeal, Apparel. <clears throat> and the first thing we want to say is Adventure Apparel aims to leverage its role as a well-established retail men's clothing company <clears throat> to become a manufacturer of an upscaling clothing, clothing line aimed at males aged 18 to 40. So we're already describing, you know, who we're going to be targeting and the gender that we're going to be focusing on. And we're going to, now we're going to start um, explaining how we're going to more stand out. So we're going to say um, adventure apparel, not only creates the clothing line, but also promotes and advertise. They're going to say <clears throat> by increasing brand awareness, the company intends to solidify its partnership with retailers. So we said here, Adventure Appeal not only creates the clothing line, but also promotes and advertise it. And by increasing brand awareness, the company intends to solidify its partnership with, with retailers. So we're essentially going to be saying um, we're going to be branding ourselves so that we be able to have partnerships with retailers so that they could be able to sell our products, you know. So now we're going to say something of the lines of Adventure Appeal. Plans to market its line as an alternative 
to existing clothing lines, distinguishing itself through marketing strategies. Exclusivity and high brand awareness. And like I said, when you guys are creating your business plan, um, you want to use Grammarly.com or any kind of <clears throat> spell checking um, application so that as you're going about writing your plan, if there's any occur, any errors that you've made, you know, the application just fix it for you. It just makes it look very clean, very nice, very organized. Sometimes they offer offer a better word suggestion in order to increase your um your communication through your business plan. <clears throat> so as you can see here, we have by increasing brand awareness, the company intends to solidify its partnership with retailers. Adventure Apparels, a plan plan to market its line as an alter alternative to existing clothing lines, distinguishing itself through marketing strategies, exclusivity, and high brand awareness. So this is essentially just the first paragraph we, we have here. So now we're gonna continue a little bit more. We're gonna say something more of the lines of the adventure. lines key message is stylish upscale dynamic and expensive clothing the company's promotional strategy is diverse encompassing a variety of marketing communications they want to say something of the company <clears throat> aims to broaden accessories lines for men women and children in the future so you can see here we have the Adventure Appeal Alliance, <clears throat> the Adventure Apparel Alliance key message is stylish, upscale, dynamic and expensive clothing. The company's promotional strategy is diverse, encompassing a variety of marketing communications. The company aims to broaden accessory lines for men, women and children in the future. So what we're essentially trying to say is the, the first we're first going to target um, men between the ages of 18 to 40. And as our company starts to you know expand. Then we're going to start to aim towards women. We're going to start to aim towards children and we're going to broaden more accessory lines and things of that nature. So it's basically you're just you're trying to find you're trying to explain yourself how you're going to um, achieve profitability, how you're going to stand yourself out and then what you're going to do as you start to grow. And that's basically what um, you want to put that in your business plan so that your potential investors can see the strategy that you guys are going to implement. So now the next thing we're going to put is our solution. So solution right here, boom. Now, so we're gonna say adventure apparel. Not only creates the clothing line, but also promotes and advertises it. <clears throat> the company intends to strengthen its relationship with retailers by increasing brand awareness. So we're just going to clean up our little errors that we made here. Boom. this up here and we spell check <clears throat> okay so this is what we're looking at so far here is looking pretty good now let's talk a little bit about the market so that our potential um, our potential investor has a little insight of what's going on here So we're going to talk about the market. We're going to say our customers 
are males aged 18 to 40 with disposable income. Disposable household income. There are no color barrier within this group and customers come from a variety of background. The adventure apparel customers is a versatile men who can fit into any situation and is willing to pay a premium for high quality clothing. All right, so we're looking pretty good here, you guys. So our customers are are males aged 18 to 40 with disposable household income. <clears throat> there are no color barriers. I'm supposed to put the word is, not are. Let me actually do these error fixing. Now you can see our customers are males aged 18 to 40 with disposable household income. There is no color barrier within this group and customers come from a variety of backgrounds. The Adventure Appeal customers is a versatile man who can fit into any situation and is willing to pay a premium for high quality clothing. So as you can see here, this is basically we're just talking about the market who we're targeting that there's no there's no like, you know, any kind of like, you know, it's not like it's only for white guys or only for black guys, you know, it's, it's any any group and um and they're also willing to pay premium for the, for the product. So that's basically what we're explaining here in the market so they can know who who are we really targeting. So we're going to put here we're going to put competition. So we also got to talk about our competition here. So we're going to say companies are we Oregon Rising to become a linear and to adopt new technologies. Restructuring has been common in this industry in recent years as larger companies gain market position and cost cutting leverage companies and the apparel apparel industry can be either retailers or manufacturers We're going to say or wholesalers or both. So we have to just fix our <clears throat> so we have here companies are record Companies are reorganizing to become leaner and to adopt new technologies. Restructuring has been common in this industry in recent years as larger companies gain market position and cost cutting leverage. Companies in the apparel industry can be either retailers <coughs> or manufacturers, wholesalers or both. So now. We're going to talk a little bit more about um, some competitors that we are always going to be facing. So we're going to say, for example. Gap. Inc. A vertical retailer manufactures and sells exclusive 
through retail channels. Then we're going to say Tommy Hilfiger. For example, sells its products to both retailers and consumers through retail outlets. All right, so we're gonna fix our grammar error here. So this is all the goal when you're writing your business plan. It's all about explaining what's going on in your industry, explaining um, how you plan to dominate and and explaining who your, comp who your competitors are. So now we, we need to answer the question, why us, right? Why are we the ones that should get it done? So <clears throat> so we're gonna say we are an alternative, we are an alternative to existing clothing lines. We design our own lines so you won't see your colleagues or other fashion forward friends wearing the same outfit. So the goal is that we're going to be creating ex exclusive clothing so that you don't see, you know, everybody wearing the same outfit because the whole reason why the clothing industry is always booming and will forever be booming is because um people want to stand out from other people and you know, they want to express um you know, they want to express themselves and don't want to feel like they're the same as everybody else. That's one of the reasons why even people like to get tattoos. Tattoos just makes you feel different. You know, clothes make you feel different and people want to feel different. So you have to propel that that um that that uh service of helping people feel different. If you can make if you can help people feel different, they'll be willing to pay you a premium. So that's the whole goal of um clothing industry. It's about it's about making people feel special and making them feel different. So if you can do if you if you make your business based on that idea, you'll see profitability. So, um, all right, so let me see if anything else we should put here. So we're going to, we're just going to finish this off with, we're going to say we are also well versed in current trends and brands. You will be the envy of all your friends because because why? Because you discovered us first. It's all about the trend, you guys. It's all about the trend. Alrighty, so we're just going to probably stop here. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, you know, when you're writing your business plan, you want to keep everything organized. You know, you want to make sure that you actually establish um, a good value proposition so that your your potential readers, viewers or investors will be able to understand. OK, so this is what you're going to do. And um they'll have more clarity as far as what your objectives are and how you plan to achieve profitability. And, um, and it's all about, edu it's all about educating your, you know, your potential investors uh, so that they can be able to, you know, see the vision of what you got going on. So you can just, so they can be able to participate and be able to give you the loan that you want in order to grow your business. So, so, um, yep, that's about it here, you guys. And, uh, take care now.